Yeah. I mean, the question was, was as a kid, was I anything like Dwight Mendenhall? It was the character I played on Fame. And yeah, I was. Um, I was quite conservative for many years. And... Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I was never quite the fascist that he is. But uh, I think Dwight was kind of a, a testimony to what acting did for me because the same way he was socially inept and afraid of people and so conservative, that's rather what I was doing in high school up until uh, somebody said to me, you know, uh, this guy dropped out of the Merchant of Venice, do you want to play the servant's part? And that's when, I, <laughs> that's when everything, that's when I stopped the fast track to law school and all. And uh, so, yeah, I was, and acting changed my, my, myself and uh, that's what I did with Dwight. We moved him toward, you know, as he learned about his craft, we moved him toward being more of a human being. And because I, I think that's what happens to people when they learn to play music or to write, and they get into things that connect them with their feelings.
you should all be up here and we should be down there asking you questions. <laughs> to read the ones sent to me. I appreciate them, and I appreciate the beautiful plot lines that have been formed from them, and also very much the art to all of those who have done my portrait, even the ones I've dropped and broke <laughs> coming home. Uh, Judy, is uh, Kathy Fidge out there from Australia? Yes. Did you all make work for you? Is that you? Yeah, she holds the record, I think, for numbers of different poses. Every time she writes, she draws a new picture of me, and they're all terrific, excellent. I hope someday to make a collage of all the different William portraits in a circle and all the different points of view, but keep up the remarkable work and a beautiful creative expression. Yeah, I, the art is the part that amazes me the most because I, I, I can't draw. <laughs> and to see yourself interpreted by many different people, you, you, it's, it's unusual to see how other people see you over and over and over again. And I get a chance to read some of the stories and I enjoy them very much. And, I'm a writer myself, and I know how hard it is to write. So uh, thanks a lot for doing that. Now, we've got the signal over here that we have time for one more question. I'll go for you in the first row. Yeah, guys, wish we were cruising. Cruising this time last year. That's right. That's right. That's right. Thank you, sir. We had a great time, Jeannie. Where are you from, Yeah, we did. I'm from Newport Beach, California. Well, I was wondering if you would like to take this time to perhaps maybe expound on how the tub life in your vision worked. Now, you know, did William have a, a large kitchen and was there a dining area that everyone went to? Or did they have little individual kitchens within the, the chambers? You know, what was the day-to-day -day life like in the tub? What do you think? Uh, some of the images in my mind are formed by Jane Freeman, the miniaturist in New York. How many of you seen her postcards on breakfast time? <laughs> say to various people like Lynette, I'd like to see a silhouette of pulling out a big uh, wooden pan out of a giant open hearth. I always pictured an enormous operation for feeding all the people, and they would all be together, families on a great hall, like the Winterfest, with the great long tables, and that was my idea. It was a huge familial situation. But if any of you have never seen Jane Freeman's work, it's extraordinary. She, she just did one called Gizmo, of his uh, operation. Yeah. She's got the pipes down below, yeah. wonderful stuff. Uh, I think, uh, to be specific, Jean, I think there was probably an eating hall uh, where we all ate. Uh, there certainly must have been a huge kitchen somewhere. Um, uh, where the electricity came from? Uh, it must be the same place that lamp on Father's desk got his electricity. <laughs> I don't know. Well, the light in his chamber, too. Right. Uh, I don't know where that came from. And, and who's paying those bills?